Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to show you how to fix General Tso's chicken. I have gotten so into using my wok, and <laughs> here's my little spatula thing that goes with my wok, and here's all the stuff that I'm going to put in the wok. <laughs> the first thing, I've had um, this chicken it's been marinating all day in the in um, ses sesame oil and um, cornstarch and and I think a little yeah a little soy sauce I just put a little soy sauce in here and I took it out a while ago and put it in this bag with flour to get it all coated in the flour and I'm just letting it get to room temperature now and as you can see it's all coated in flour the first thing I'm going to do is I've already chopped up an onion uh, well it's like five green onions and I'm, I've got them on my beautiful china um, and next I'm going to show you well I also have the broccoli, I just steamed some broccoli in the microwave. You can see how green it is. And then I took it out and ran cold water over it. And it'll go in at the end. But the first thing that I've got to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to open a bottle of chicken broth. It's 33% less sodium. And... Let's hope I can get this open. I have a hard time anymore getting these things. Okay, got it. All right, now I'm going to use a half a cup of chicken broth. All right, there you go. That's in that in the measuring cup. And then in this bowl, the first thing I'm going to use is about two tablespoons of dark um, dark premium dark soy sauce. Now I ordered this offline and it's um, Lee Kum Ki or whatever. It's um, it's a lot stronger than regular soy sauce and and in a lot of recipes, they call for dark soy sauce. And I know the other so uh, soy sauce is dark too, but this is just different. So I'm going to use two tablespoons of the dark. Watch when it pours in. It's a lot, lot thicker. I'm just going to I'm going to use about a tablespoon and a half of the dark soy sauce. Then I'm going to use, I'm using agave nectar. I'm going to use, make, um, use two tablespoons of that. Alright, and then I'm going to use rice vinegar I'm going to use about um, one tablespoon of this and this is that's what kind I use rice vinegar one tablespoon of that okay and then one tablespoon no I'm going to use two tablespoons of the hoisin sauce and this is Sun Luck hoisin sauce. I got this at Kroger. I'm going to use about two tablespoons of that. And then I'm going to stir this all up. That vinegar is strong. All right, now I'm going to pour my stock in here with this. 
and then I'm going to put in um, I don't know about a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch and this is the sauce for the General Tso's chicken and um, now I'm going to stir it up real good so everything is mixed together All right, it's pretty much all mixed together. Now, and then I'm going to push all this stuff back. And this will be used later on. All right, now I'm going to put um, in the wok. I need to go on and get it hot. So, I have it on my induction cooktop. And I've got it on sear because I want this oil to get um, really hot. So I'm going to go on. With this, I'm frying the chicken. So you've got to have right much oil. And I'm using um, Crisco Pure Canola Oil. And you can, I hope you can see it's right much in there. And did you hear that when I took the block off of the induction cooktop it um <laughs> it went turned off so i'm hoping you can see everything yeah, it looks like you can all right so what i'm going to do now is i've got to get some garlic out because with the onions i'm going to use a little bit of of garlic And I just use, I've got squeezed um, garlic with olive oil. Alright, now my heat is, I mean my oil is getting hot. And this is my spatula for my wok and it's really awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this heat up some more and get really hot and bubbling and I'm going to put the chicken in here and I have to fry this chicken so when I get all the chicken fried I'll bring you back okay I'm back I just wanted to bring you back and show you the chicken I'm having to do it in batches because I'm fixing a lot of this because I'm going over to my da other daughters tomorrow and I'm going to take some of that and I'll fix the big big pot of um, chicken fried rice today, so I'm taking that and some of the General Tso's chicken, so um, Like I said, this is the first batch and It's frying up. I'm getting ready to take it out and put it in a bowl and then I'll have to put the other batch in and When that gets almost done, I'll bring you back Okay, here's the second batch of chicken and It's about done I'm just stirring it around with my little wok spatula, I'm making sure that it's all, all done, because you know how I am about chicken, and when I get ready to get it out, I'll get it out with this, and put it in a bowl, and put, drain almost all the oil out of here. And um, when I get to that point, I'll bring you back. Okay, I've cut the um, heat down on this to 425 from sear down to high. And I've got the, um, I've got the oil in here. And I'm going to put the onions in now and the little bit of garlic. And I'm going to hand this back to my daughter. All right, there's the onions, and I need a squirt of garlic. And we've decided that we really don't like ginger, so we're not putting ginger in it. And we are going to do this, and i got to heat these up. 
then I'm going to put my broccoli in. Here's my broccoli. I'm going to put that in. Let that cook up with the onions a little bit. And the garlic. We can smell that garlic. All right, now I'm going to put the chicken. Here's all this big bowl of chicken. I'm going to put this back in. And now I'm going to put in the, the sauce. Now I gotta take it back up to see her. That cornstarch that's in here is going to thicken this up. And you can see it's gonna look exactly like General So's chicken. When I finish, and what I'm doing now is I'm just stirring it and getting all the flavors combined and the sauce combined on everything. And when I get this ready to plate up and get it on the plate, I'll bring you back. Okay, here's the finished um, food in the in the wok, and here it is on my plate. And I've got the chicken and fried rice underneath it and the broccoli has <laughs> of course we like I like my broccoli really done good so I'm gonna taste it now mmm that's really good I think it probably needs a little bit more agave and maybe some more hoisin sauce. Maybe I didn't put enough of that in there. But it's still good. It's got a great taste to it. Okay. If you like my recipe, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. Thanks. You have a good night. Bye.